Would you say black people can be a fetish for other for other cultures, other ethnicities? Yeah. Yeah. Or they're, they're like sexualized by other ethnicities? I think, or... I think the fact that you can look into the porn culture mm. and there's a section that says BBC. <laughs> there's, there's also other ones that are white though, no? The, the, yeah. But, the, but, sorry, the BBC culture yeah, is yeah. specifically for black men having sex with white women. Mm. Like railing them. Big black guys. <laughs> like just railing these, these white women. And I'm like, if that's not a fetish, I don't know what is, guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a fetish. But the thing is, the porn industry is a billion dollar industry, multi billion dollar industry. So I'm just like, so how does that feed in society? Because that's being consumed by everyone or certain groups of society. That must feed into society somehow. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, that feeds into your subconscious. So if that's an outlet for certain people, then that means that that can feed into society. That means that can be black people and white people fetishizing each other in the society. Yeah. But they say it's a relationship. I don't know. I see what mean, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? They I think, I think it does scale down to... to yeah. Of course it, co yeah, it yeah. comes into society. So yeah. it's like, yeah, of course they can be fetishized. I don't know who is though. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know who's fetishizing who. I don't, I don't know. If, I don't know, but I'm saying of course it can be. It must be. Because mm. I've heard people say that, you know, what, black men will fetishise white women, white women fetishise black men sometimes, you know. I'm sure they do. Mm. You have a whole BBC culture on the board. Like, <laughs> of course you do. Like, it's, it's there. Like, to say that it doesn't exist would just be lying. Yeah, yeah. Do you know and what I'm it, saying? Yeah. It would just be lying. And then also I've heard about uh, diversity hires. Have you heard that? Where someone's getting hired because they're black. Like a yeah. diversity hire, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As in your, your team at work needs more... Cultures, more culture, yeah. more diversity. Inclusivity. That's it, yeah, mm. yeah. So some people go and turn around and go, you know, I, I think I'm a diversity hire now. <laughs> I've never heard of that though, but no? yeah, of course, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. Of course, like, I just think, do you know, I, I just think people just need to be more real and just more honest. Like, mm. I think the world would be a better place. As long as people aren't hating people, this is what I said, as long as people aren't hating people, yeah, and disrespecting them, I don't see a problem. I really don't. Um, quickly, just for the viewers, can you explain red pill um, community against the uh, blue pill? Well, et cetera? The, <laughs> blue pill your... the blue pill community, <laughs> right, yeah. would probably be a bunch of men who pander to women, say they like what women like, in an attempt to try and get vagina, right? <laughs> we all know those guys out there that say, Certain things so they can get some pussy. Too. Oh, so they're like pro feminists. Pro feminists. Yeah. Right, whatever women say is like, yeah, you know, like, it's not going to get you the vagina, guys. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Like, women don't respect those guys. <laughs> like, you'll get friend zoned in an instant. And then you will have the Red Pill guys who kind of say, you know what? Men deserve their rights. They deserve to be, um, they deserve to be masculine. They deserve to have. Um, their space as men mm. and they don't really care what women think about it. I think with the red pill space, if I'm honest, um, I think it's like, I think it's getting into, it's becoming a minefield. I think the people that are entering the red pill space now as, as quote unquote men, like I said before, John Zerker and people like that, it's just, I watched my, my run from Fresh and Fit do stuff with a KKK hood saying that, oh, you know, black people are this. And I'm just like, this is not red pill, bro. But yeah. like they're in that space. So it's like, what are you doing? So when people get money and status, they revert to type. See who they are. Yeah. Give anyone in their money and status and see who they are. Oh, so you think the true them, the true, true themselves, themselves coming out. out. Yeah. So this is what I'm saying. So these guys that have got all of this money and status right now, you're just seeing the true them. Mm. you know um, cokeheads crazy guys do you know what I'm saying it's like <laughs> just guys that want to chill with their friends do you know what I'm saying it's like that's who they are yeah. and now you've got the time and money to do that alright yeah. do you know what I'm saying it's like you didn't have you had it all in your head before but it's, that come you out wanted, it's coming out now you've got more, the time yeah. and the money to do it bro do you mm. know what I'm saying you're just showing us who you really are that's fine do you know what I'm saying and that's why you always say when you get to, it's not about money corrupts Money shows who you are. Mm. Money and status will show people who you are. That's why people that have got money and status and they just chill and humble and they're 
good people. It's like, you know what, that's who that person is. Mm, that's see what it. they're like. Because they could be a total arsehole, bro. But they're not. No, nah, fair enough, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They're not. They're just cool, they're chill. That's the true them. That's yeah. the true them coming out. <laughs> yeah, true self, yeah. You know? <laughs>